Hello, welcome to the first installment of Cooking with Heather. Today we're making tomato spiced chickpeas, which is a Moroccan inspired dish. Um, just so you know the ingredients you're going to have to have, you're going to have to have some spices, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, ground ginger, red flaked peppers, as well as herb de Provence. You're going to need one can of chickpeas and a large can of crushed tomatoes. Olive oil to start, and at the end, we're going to have to have some mint and some parsley. The equipment that you're going to need, of course, is a nice large pan. You also want to have a cover that you can make, put over your pan because you're going to reduce your recipe for about 20 minutes after you do the prep work. So let's get ready and start cooking. You're going to need a third of a cup of olive oil. You put that in your pan. I know how much a third of a cup is, but you might want to measure for yourself. It's important because you don't want your spices to burn. Now the next thing you're going to add is one tablespoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of ground coriander. You're also going to add one teaspoon of ground ginger. That's a very strong spice, so you don't want too much of that. Some red pepper flakes. I use about a quarter of a teaspoon when I put those in. Um, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a little pinch of herb de Provence. So all of our spices are here. What you want to do is you want to add them to your pan. And the trick now is to start reducing them. You want to really make sure when you have them in your pan that you're turning and moving with your spatula all the time. This way your spices don't burn and the flavors come out beautifully. So that should take about two minutes to three minutes on medium-high heat. Now, look at the color of our spices. They've turned beautifully aromatic and they're nice and brown. So it's time to add our chickpeas. Now you want to make sure your chickpeas are rinsed. It's very, very important. And there may be a little bit of splashing when you put them in. Not to worry about that. Turn them right away, get them nicely coated with all those beautiful spices. And next come the tomatoes. Again, you can use crushed tomatoes. You can use tomatoes that are spiced as well. Whatever you have in your pantry. And that's the beauty of this recipe. Now you're going to take this and you're going to reduce it for about 20 minutes. You can have your glass pot pan with a cover if you have one like I do because it vents. If you don't, then just leave it uncovered and let it simmer gently for 20 minutes so all those beautiful, beautiful flavors all combine and make for a really lovely dish. Now, our mixture has reduced beautifully, and if you could smell, you would realize it's amazing. Last thing we have to add is a half a, cup, half a cup of chopped parsley and a half a cup of chopped mint. Ideally, you really want to use fresh, fresh as possible, because it adds so much extra flavor as well as extra color to your dish. And you put this in at the very end, because you don't want your spices to wilt and go dark. The beauty of this dish is it's nutritious, it's delicious, and it's very economical to make. I like to serve it over rice, cooked rice, but you can serve it over couscous, pasta. You could also add cooked chicken, cooked lamb for a real Moroccan version. And after that, you sit back and enjoy. Bon appétit!